dropped on a massive ice field. This team of scientists are here to better predict how fast glaciers are melting. We have jumped, literally jumped off a cliff. We are finding that the melt is far exceeding in some cases what we had expected. Like many others, Place Glacier is a glacier that's dying. Over time, this material has just been accumulating at this surface. Most of it is likely sediment and rock. This surface is just getting darker and darker. This darkening of the surface is the focus of his research. Scanning. And that's good. We can characterize surfaces, see if it's like a clean ice or a dirty ice, or you can also use that to see um, how much light is absorbed and then how much it transfers into melt. A thin layer of smoke blankets the sky. How does that wildfire smoke affect both the surface properties? And in some cases, people have also considered how the wildfire smoke can change the amount of sunlight coming through the atmosphere. So in some cases, if it's really dense smoke, it reduces that energy coming in from the sun. There's still a lot of unknowns that the team is working to figure out. But what's clear is that the surface is darkening. And as we start to darken these surfaces, we start to accelerate the melt from these glaciers. Glaciers act as a natural water reservoir, storing huge amounts of fresh water. Every degree of warming is critical for their survival. We really are at a point at which we need to act. We need to rapidly mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. He wants people to understand the impact of our actions on Western Canada's glaciers. Camille Vernet, CBC News, Place Glacier near Pemberton.